Hi everyone, I'm John from the Yarn Spinner team. Today we're going to check out Yarn Spinner for Unity. It's our amazingly useful tool for adding interactive dialogue to your games. It's pretty easy to get the hang of, and in this video we'll go through the main steps to get you started. So what's the plan? First we'll make a new project in Unity 6. Then we'll grab Yarn Spinner from the Unity Asset Store. After that we'll get Visual Studio Code set up with the Yarn Spinner extension, which makes writing your dialogue scripts much easier. We'll then install the Yarn Spinner for Unity package into our project. And finally, we'll put together a very small piece of dialogue, I'll show you how the basic prefabs Yarn Spinner provides work, and we'll see it run in Unity. OK, let's jump in. First things first, open up Unity Hub, and we'll create a new project. I'm using Unity 6 for this, but it's a similar deal for other versions. Just click New Project. Pick a template, 2D or 3D will work fine for what we're doing. I'll go with 2D. Give your project a cool name, maybe something catchy like Yarn Spinner Demo. Choose where you want to save it and hit Create Project. Unity will need a moment or two to get that ready. Alright, Unity is open. Now let's get Yarn Spinner. Open up the Unity Asset Store search. In the search bar, just type Yarn Spinner. You should see it pop up. That's the one that we're after. You'll need to purchase it if you haven't already. Once you have it, click Download and then Import. A window will show up with all the files going to add, leave everything ticked, and then click Import. While that's importing, let's have a quick chat about Visual Studio Code. It's a really good free code editor. If you don't already have it, head over to the VS Code website and download the installer for your computer. Once it's installed, open it. We'll need to add the Yarn Spinner extension. Click on the Extensions icon in the sidebar, that's the button that looks like a few stacked squares. Search for Yarn Spinner and install the one by Yarn Spinner, that's us. This gives you things like syntax highlighting and lots of other super helpful features for Yarn files. Back in Unity, Yarn Spinner should be imported by now. You might see a new Yarn Spinner menu item in some of the menus up the top. Let's quickly set up a scene to show our dialog. I'm just using an empty scene here. We'll need a couple of things from Yarn Spinner to get this working. Open the Game Object menu and choose Yarn Spinner Dialog System. This prefab contains a few Yarn Spinner components, which are actually what runs your Yarn scripts. And it also has basic presenter components, which takes care of displaying the lines and the options. We need a Yarn project to tell it what dialog to run. We haven't made that yet, so let's do that now. It helps to keep your project tidy, so in the Assets folder, right click and create a new folder and let's call it Dialog. Now go into your new dialog folder. Right click again and go to Create, Yarn Spinner, Yarn Project. We can call this whatever we like. For this project, I'll call it My Story. This Yarn Project asset is what will hold all your yarn scripts together. Select your My Story Yarn Project that you just made. Take a look at the inspector. You'll see this looking for yarn scripts. Next, make a new yarn script the same way you made the yarn project. Let's name this one intro.yarn. This file is where we'll write our actual dialogue. Open the whole project in VS Code. If VS Code and the extension are all set up, it should open straight into the editor. Navigate to the yarn file in VS Code. You'll see it's fairly empty to start, just a title. Let's write some really simple dialogue. Every yarn script needs a starting point, a node to begin with. By default, this first node is called Start, so type this. Title, Start. Narrator, Hello there. This is our first Yarn Spinner dialog. Narrator, Working pretty well, don't you think? Yeah. Narrator, Glad to hear it. I love it. Narrator, Me too. And that's our basic script. The dash 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 part separates the header information, like the title, from the actual dialog lines and equals 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 signals the end of this particular node. As you can see, each line is just the character speaking, or the narrator in this case, a colon, and then what they say. Pretty straightforward. Don't forget to save the file with Control S or Command S if you're on a Mac. Hopping back into Unity, let's look at the inspector for the dialog system. You'll see a slot there for Yarn Project. Drag your My Story Yarn Project asset from your dialog folder right into that slot. Make sure to set it to Auto Start. This will make the dialog runner start running the node when the game starts up. Also, double check that the Start Node field has Start written in it, because that's the node that we want our dialog to begin from. Alright, let's see it in action. 
hit the play button at the top of the Unity editor. And there it is! Hello there, this is our first Yarn Spinner dialogue. Click to continue, and then, working pretty well, don't you think? Our dialogue is up and running. We've got the basic setup sorted, and from this point you can start to look into more advanced features, like branching choices to jump between nodes, variables, calling functions from your scripts, and more. There's a bunch of extra samples too. To get to them, select the Dialogue Runner, and then click on the Samples button in the Inspector. There's a whole bunch that show off lots of other Yarn Spinner features, like background conversations, markup, and more. So that covers the essentials for getting Yarn Spinner up and running in Unity 6. We created a project, added Yarn Spinner from the Asset Store, configured VS Code, installed the package, and got our first little bit of dialogue working. And we did all that in just a few minutes. For more detailed information, definitely check out the official Yarn Spinner documentation. It has everything you need to explore all its features. Thanks for watching. Bye, Yarn Spinner. Or else.